Now our second property. Opposite angles of parallelogram are congruent. So to illustrate, let us use this parallelogram A, B, C, D. We know that the opposite I angles now let's have our property number two. Opposite angles of parallelogram are congruent. So to illustrate, let us use this parallelogram A, B, C, D. We know that A is opposite to C. B is opposite to D. Therefore, angle A is congruent. Uh, angle A is congruent to angle C and angle B is congruent to angle D so that is our property number two of our parallelogram opposite angles of parallelogram are congruent now let's have our first example in parallelogram H I J K measure angle 1 is equal to 4x plus 8 degrees and measure angle K is equal to 6x minus 12 degrees. Find the measure of angle 1, uh, angle I, and angle K. Now, illustrate our para parallelogram. Parallelogram. So we have, okay, H, I, J, K. Now, measure angle I, this is I, is 4x plus 8. I is 4x plus 8 degrees. And our K is 6x minus 12 okay, degrees. Now, following our property number 2, I or angle I, I is congruent to angle K. Now, given for angle I is 4x plus 8 is equal to angle K, 6x minus 12. Now, we need to find x. So, finding x, so 4x minus 6x is equal to negative 12 minus 8. Now, 4x minus 6x, that is negative 2x, is equal to negative 12 minus 8, that is negative 20. So, we need to divide by negative 2. x now is equal to negative 20 divided by negative 2, positive 10. Find the measure of angle I and angle K. So, measure of angle I is equal to 4x plus 8. Now, we have 4 times x is 10. We need to substitute plus 8. So, 4 times 10, that is 40 plus 8. We now have 48 degrees for our angle I. And for angle K, angle K is 6 times 10 x is 10 minus 12 so 60 minus 12 is equal to 48 degrees okay angle i is equal to 48 angle k is equal to 48 degrees and that proves our property number two opposite angles are congruent now let's have our example number two now let's have our example number two we have parallelogram OPQR. Angle P measures 3x. Angle Q measures 96. Angle R measures 84. And angle O measures y plus 42. We're going to find x, y, measure angle O, and measure angle P. Let's start with letter A. We're going to find x. We know that property number 2 states that opposite angles are congruent. So angle P is congruent to angle R. So angle P substitute that is 3x is equal to angle R. Sorry for this, angle R is 84. 
divide by 3 so x is equal to 84 divided by 3 so we have 2 6 24 so 8 23 divided by uh, 24 divided by 3 that is 8 16 24 so 3 28 our value for x now is 28 now we're going to find y next angle o is congruent to angle q angle o is y plus 42 substitute is equal to 96 so y is equal to 96 minus 42 96 minus 42 is 54 okay. y is equal to 54 this is a b now letter c measure angle o in our given angle o is y plus 42 now our y just substitute y is 54 plus 42 that is 96 degrees so measure angle o is 96 degrees and letter d measure angle p that is 3x so 3 times our x is 28 so 3 times 28 that is 84 so measure angle p is 84 now to verify using our property number 2 angle o is 96 and angle q is 96 opposite angles are congruent angle p is 84 angle r is 84 they are the same that proves our property number two opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent now let's have our example number two we have parallelogram o p q r angle p measures 3x angle q measures 96 angle r measures 84 and angle o measures y plus 42 we're going to find x, y, measure angle O, and measure angle P. Let's start with letter A. We're going to find x. We know that property number 2 states that opposite angles are congruent. So angle P is congruent to angle R. So angle P, substitute, that is 3x, is equal to angle R, sorry for this, angle R, is 84 divide by 3 so x is equal to 84 divided by 3 so we have 2 6 24 so 8 23 divided by uh, 24 divided by 3 that is 8 16 24 so 3 28 our value for x now is 28 now we're going to find y. Next, angle O is congruent to angle Q. Angle O is y plus 42. Substitute is equal to 96. So y is equal to 96 minus 42. 96 minus 42 is 54. Okay. Y is equal to 54. This is A, B. Now letter C, measure angle O. In our given, angle O is Y plus 42. Now our y, just substitute, y is 54 plus 42, that is 96 degrees. So measure angle O is 96 degrees. And letter D, measure angle P, that is 3x. 
So 3 times our x is 28. So 3 times 28, that is 84. So measure angle P is 84. Now to verify using our property number 2, angle O is 96 and angle Q is 96. Opposite angles are congruent. Angle P is 84, angle R is 84, they are the same, that proves our property number 2, opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent.